Hello YouTube, this is going to be the first video on this channel, and today in this video I will be going over my fishing stuff, my freshwater and my saltwater stuff. So, yeah, and I'm a little sick right now, I have a cold and all that, so my sniffle, just know that, it gets annoying, I'm sorry. But let's go right into my bait caster, really quick. This is the bait caster. It's a Bass Pro Shops Tourney Special. Right here. Uh, my grandpa gave this to me. And it is a 6'6 six six medium heavy rod with 10 pound braid. And I have a spinner bait on it right now. Haven't, I haven't caught a bass yet with it. I'm not really a freshwater fisherman. I'm more saltwater. I like saltwater fish. They fight hard, fast. They fight, but yeah, they're not. They don't fight as much. And now, let's go to my other my saltwater stuff. So first, I have my inshore slash light jigging rod and reel. I have a Spin Fisher 5. This is the combo. Spin Fisher 5 rod. And on this is 20 pound braid. It's a nice 20 pound braid. It's really smooth. I like it a lot. Bale's nice. There's a lot of nice drag on it. This The reel is the Spin Fisher 5 size 4,500. <laughs> really nice and it's really really comfortable for uh, it's really comfortable for long periods of time it's not too heavy but it's not too light too and then my Is my trolling setup? It's an Avid model. I'm pretty sure it's the JX something. I bought this a bit ago. The Bass Pro gift card I got. And then I completely forgot what rod this is. My dad just ordered it. So I asked him what's a good thing for kingfish, and he was like, "Here, I got you with this." Yeah really nice has mono I forgot what weight it is it has a clicker oh, oh my gosh a clicker right here there's the clicker on it it's not a click so it's really loud and that's the trolling setup and now I'll go into my baits slash lures. This is my um, tackle box for freshwater stuff. This isn't complete. I'm nowhere near done with this, but I'll just go into it. Some Bass Pro bullet weights. Some size 3 aught worm hooks. Offset worm hooks. They're nice. Some split shot weights right here. Um, just a little, little like rig that I was using that I didn't put back and take out because I was just changing baits rapidly. The other day I went fishing in the lake that I live next to. I had some yum dingers and then some. Trunk seniors right here. Yeah. And then there's more there's more to this side and there's more on the other side. This is more of my hooks and worms and weights type thing. Crankbait. It's nice little crankbait. And then I got a bass pro. I have a 
yellow hula popper. And I have this little green pumpkin jig that's got a bunch of bites. I have a green hula popper. I have a dark green and yellow little jitterbug that's gotten a lot of bites too. I have a jig that broke when I first bought it and everything's coming off. And I have this little off colored frog that I bought for like three bucks. And yeah. And this is actually a very high quality tackle box. There's two sides to it. It's Planko double sided satchel. 16 to 26 compartments. It's really nice. I, I like this. It's high quality. It's built good. I'm actually using my GoPro to film this right now. And so over the summer, you guys will see a lot of fishing videos and vlogs because I'll be in Destin, Florida. So yeah, there is a pond near there that I've fished in and I've seen big bass and I've caught little like bluegill from there and pretty big bluegill. And there is a bay that hopefully I will have at least one or two kayaks by then to go fishing in the bay on a kayak. And my grandparents that live there also have a boat, so there will be, uh, there will be surf fishing, like in the bay, kayak fishing, there will be offshore fishing, there will be a lot of fishing. That's all I'm gonna say. And vlogs. And this, I just have an old Halloween bag that I've had for a long time with my stuff. This is Kingfish Pro Rig. I think I have around like three of these. So, those are three of these. Like I said, this catches fish. I have some gotcha, gotcha like popper Spanish macro kits. I've caught a Spanish mackerel on this one, and it is all, the front's all messed up because of how many times this hits the bottom. I caught a Spanish on this. I have caught a Spanish on this too. And the bigger one, I haven't caught anything on. I'm gonna try to in the future. And then I have, oh man, I'm, I'm really sick, I think. I have a Clark Spoon for Game Fish, Russian Saltwater. Little, little spoon I haven't even opened yet. Um, another Kingfish Pro Rig with wire leader on it. It's in a bag. Uh, random bag. So a leader that it got broken off one time and messed up. I just haven't taken it out yet. Another Kingfish Pro Rigs, so that's three already. In multiple different colors. Here are some Eagle Claw, Eagle Claw treble hooks. Really nice treble hooks. Uh, a Sabiki Rig that catches fish. Some Dramamine. Kids drive me in for my little brother and my sister. If and my little sister, if we go out, if they go out on the boat too, usually it's just me, my grandpa, and my dad that go out because we like fishing. And um, in February, which is my birthday, you guys will see at least one new, at least one new addition to the setup, to the three three rod and reels that I have, there will be a fourth and maybe even a fifth. So get ready for that. And then non-offset saltwater hooks, size three odd. Don't really use that much. I don't really use those that much. Some little swivels, pretty high quality swivels, they're small. Ah, I just got hooked. On a little or a 
big crank bait right there. These are very sharp hooks. I don't know why that's exposed like that. Some 50 pound Seaguar pink leader, pink label fluorocarbon leader. It's 40, 40 pounds. I don't know if I said 50, but it's 40 pounds. It's, it's very stiff. It's like really stiff. I have a pair of Bass Pro pliers. I have a better multi-tool that I usually use. But I don't, I don't always take that multi-tool with me. Because in my other, in my tackle box, tackle box in Destin, my big tackle box that has absolutely everything, I have, there's a multi-tool in there, there's a big Leatherman multi-tool, and I usually have my multi-tool in, in a little bag that I usually take fishing with me. There is some motion sickness release pills. Yeah, tape measure to see if your fish is legal or not. And then we have it's a five aught uh, sorry a five aught size hook. It's just a little circle hook. There's one left, that's usually what I use for bottom fishing. And then more. Some wire leader then kings on the trolling rod and reel that's hooked up usually with the crankbait some type of that something type, something like that some other, more germamine and more swivels and then so that's another thing for my saltwater and freshwater fishing bag and box oh man this thing has some very sharp hooks super sharp and they hurt a lot so don't get hooked by one of those that's so how you know those things catch fish well and keep a hook in the fish now, everything has to go back into the bag yeah and then so this is the bag like I said it's a pretty high quality bag, I have to say that. But I hope in the future to catch some nice big amber jacks on vertical jigs because I had my three vertical jigs that I had got broken off on, I'm pretty sure, on the spin fish we caught. My dad was using it. I'm pretty sure we hooked up to a king or something like that. It was at least a 10, 15 minute fight. I got footage of that on my GoPro when we were on the boat, but I didn't get any of my catches. I caught an amberjack and three triggerfish and a remora. That time we were down on the wrecks and something broke my dad off. We thought it was a king, like I said. It was fighting hard, pulling lots of drag. It might have been an at least 20 to 25 pound king. It was, it fought very hard. Or a tuna, that's what we also thought it was because it would go in circular motions underneath the boat. So we thought it might have been like a little black tip tuna or a skipjack tuna, possibly, or a bonita. It might have been something like that in that range. Or just a gigantic amberjack. Because if if that had wire leader on it, we possibly could have had that fish because it was the leader that actually broke off from the braid from the braid. That's what happened. So yeah. If there's a fish swimming down there with a vertical jig and a forty five pound leader, it's probably our fish. And then the other vertical jig we had got broken off and so and yeah, and then the one I was using got broken off too, so I'm out of vertical jigs. Next time I go to Bass Pro, I gotta pick up some vertical jigs. But that should be the video, and see you later, guys. Again, this was the first video on this new channel. Bye, people. Like and subscribe. Thank you.